guys, Soapy Fun Times here and happy Sunday. I was supposed to be putting up this video on Friday, but I was having so many technical difficulties, so it should be hopefully fixed now and hopefully this video will be getting up today at the end of the weekend instead of the beginning like what I originally wanted it to be. So, congratulations because this is episode one of Guess Maryland Soap. So, here is our first soap ball. It is pink and it looks like hot process and I know it's hot process because I've done hot process method soaps before and this is the consistency they come out as it when you uh, roll them up into samples like this. So basically, if you didn't see my other video, the whole reason I'm doing this series is because my lovely soap making friend Marilyn from the farmer's market, uh, she gave me a whole bunch of soap samples, uh, little soap sample balls in different colors and obviously different scents and she said try to take a guess on what each scent is. So that is exactly what I'm going to do, hence this little 10 part video series on Soapy Fun Times and I hope you guys are going to enjoy. So I'm super excited. I actually ran into Marilyn on Saturday because I go every weekend now. It's kind of becoming a, tradi a tradition of mine and Marilyn actually gave me this free bath fizzy because she'd like me to do a review on this one too. So this bath fizzy is raspberry lemonade scented. It smells absolutely amazing. And she put Himalayan pink salt, Epsom salt, and a lot of aloe vera. And this is like the ultimate bath fizzy if you get a sunburn because of the aloe vera. This is not the review, by the way, guys. I am just showing the product for now, like I did previously with her Sky Soap before I did a little mini review on it. But what I'm going to do with this when I get the time to, I'm going to show this fizzing up in the bath, and we're going to have a fun review with that. And I'm super excited because it smells amazing. So we all know it's going to totally smell amazing in the back. But back to the original soap sample we'll be talking about today. As I said, this is pink and the color pink can mean a number of things for soaps. It can mean it is scented like a flowery scent because you know flowers and pink is a very flower color so it could possibly be a flower scent. It could be a feminine perfume scent because you'd want to go with a girly color, aka pink, if it's a perfumey scent for a feminine product. It could even be a sweet scent, and that is in two terms by sweet. It could be sweet as in like a fruit, so raspberry, almost like a that raspberry frost soap I made a video on that I got from Chickpea Soap. It could be watermelon scented because it's pink also, but it can also be pink sweet as a meaning a candy. So it could be cotton candy scented even because cotton candy is usually pink or blue, but it could even be that. And it could even be a item that has the word pink in it, like how Yankee Candles has their pink sans candle because in it's pink. Also, it can even be a baby soap, like for a little girl, and it's got a baby-friendly scent to it, and because it's for a, a girl, it's going to be pink. So it could be a number of different scents, but we're going to just go ahead and give this a little sniff, and I'm going to just see what I could smell right, then, right now before I get it wet. So it's very fresh smelling, very clean smelling. And right now, I am getting an instant hint of a perfumey scent and some lavender. I'm getting lavender. I'm definitely smelling lavender. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head over into my bathroom and I'm going to lather this up in my hands and I'm going to show you how awesome this soap is and how natural this soap is because uh, Marilyn, she keeps all the natural glycerins in this soap so it's going to get really lathered up and you'll see the, all that on camera. So let's head over into my bathroom, shall we? All right, guys, here we are. We are in my bathroom and we are going to turn on the water and we're going to start lathering this soap up. And I'm going to see if any other scents also come in and out of the soap when it's getting wet because sometimes more scents will come out when the soap is wetted. And I'm also going to show you all the natural glycerins that come out of this soap. And this isn't going to happen on a normal soap bar that you're going to get out of a like pharmacy because real soap bars that you get out of there, not real, but company big brand soap bars, to, in order the, to keep them harder and make them last longer, they take out all the natural glycerins, which is really uh, a skin softening pro, uh, it, it really softens the skin. So this is, you're gonna see this lathering up that you've never seen on a normal soap bar. So let's get the water on and I'll show you. So we're gonna put this under the water and I just need to put it a little bit on my hands and it's gonna really start lathering up. So here we go. You can already start seeing bubbles, right? Here we 
we go. Bubbles already coming up. All right, look how much lather has come up just from that little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna bring this up really close. You're gonna see like a marshmallow fluff looking stickiness as I lift the soap. Can you see that? That stickiness that you're seeing is because Marilyn keeps all her natural glycerins in. And this is why this soap feels like lotion-y almost because it's in there and that's all this skin softening stuff. And once you, I wash this all off, uh, my hands are gonna feel super, super soft. So just one more time, showing that, the sticky look. Uh, there you go. See that? The stickiness? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to wash off my hands and head back into my the, the room I'm filming in. And we are going to continue on the review. And I am back. And my hands felt super soft once I washed off all that lather from that soap. Well, here is my final analysis of what I think is going on with the soap. So at first it smelled like lavender and a bit of, a, bit of a perfumey scent to it uh, when I was just smelling it dry. But once I got the soap wet, I actually started to smell a very light rose scent to it. So my final analysis is it's either lavender or it's either rose or it's a mixture of rose and lavender or perhaps it was a perfumey fragrance that resembles a few different kinds of flowers. And obviously if it was pink, then the, the color would totally work because rose, you know, if it's in the rose section or the feminine pink product section. Or if it's lavender, I mean, it could have maybe faded a little bit or, or it could have just even been she just chose that color because pink can work with lavender. There are very light purple colors and pink is on technically the spectrum for purple. So that works. And I even forgot to say, it's funny because look, for this uh, bath fizzy, for instance, it's raspberry scented, raspberry lemonade, and it's pink. So see, color will match with the scent most of the time. If I had to guess the base of the soap, I would probably guess maybe goat's milk. I Marilyn's a very natural soap person, and I don't think she'd use water in a lot of her products as the base liquid. So I'm going to actually take a guess on most of these soap samples she gave me. It's probably got some form of milk in it. She, whatever base it is that she uses on these soaps, nine times out of ten, it's actually not water. She goes natural all the way. And it's probably going to be either goat's milk or she's used, uh, she started out with wine soaps. She's using all different kinds of awesome bases that are all very healthy for your skin. I hope you guys enjoyed my review for episode one, A Guest Maryland Soap. And I'm really looking forward to doing more episodes. I don't know if the next video is going to be episode two, but it might be this. It might be me talking about some other product or some other review. But I really appreciate you guys watching. And even though I don't get a lot of views, I still have that small circle of friends that do watch this and I hope maybe that might grow a little bit one day but hey like I said I do this for fun and I do this for the little small group of friends I do have out there and I am so happy that you guys are with me and I watch your videos and I love your products too and if I buy your products I'll definitely do a review about them too so I hope you guys have a rest of a great Sunday and just enjoy the day because here in New York it's quite beautiful compared to yesterday it was really humid so this is much nicer hope you guys have a great day. Bye.